All righty, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here on this beautiful day. We're excited to reopen and rededicate this park here, formerly known as Liberty Park. Um, my name is Elle Baker. I'm the open space and environmental planner for the city of Revere. And it's great to have so many of you here from the neighborhood that have lived here in the city for quite some time, as well as some of our elected officials. We have here with us today, Chris Giannino, Councillor, Councillor Ira Novoselsky, Councillor Kelly, and Councillor Haas. Thank you for joining us here today. And Councillor Sawaya. Okay, so today we are here to reopen our renovated pocket park. So there's a number of these pocket parks that are throughout the city that really give residents an opportunity to get to an outside space and to have some recreational time outside of their homes and their backyards that's within a walking distance. So we're really happy to deliver this renovated space to you today. I've had the pleasure to work with so many people from the Revere North Revere Neighborhood Group. Uh, many of you are here today and you've been strong advocates for all of the improvements that have happened here in North Revere. And it is because of your advocacy and bringing these things to the table that more and more improvements can happen. So thank you for all of your dedication and your time and coming to meetings and talking about plans and, and being patient while we're able to secure the funding in order to bring these things home. So this particular space uh, was designed with some of the neighbors that are here today talking about things that they would like to see. So one is a more accessible space, one that is more inclusionary, and also we brought something that is something for all ages. So not only do we have a play space here, but we also have a pickleball court, which also has a footprint of a four square court just in the back. So it's really a space for all ages and all abilities, and we look forward to seeing everybody using the space. I'd also like to thank our funding partners. So we were afforded a park grant through the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs. Melissa Cryan, who was just here a little while ago to inspect the park. We passed with flying colors, we're ready to open. So that was great news. And uh, so she wishes us well here. I'd also like to recognize and thank some of our vendors that we've worked with, Copley Wolf and Associates for their design, Belco Landscaping that did a lot of the site preparation here, Campani, which is a new vendor that we brought to the city for the play equipment, and MRC Recreation that brought us the port in place rubber surface for ADA accessibility. I also have to give a shout out to our DPW department who is always there on deck to help and support in any way for the parks. So thank you, special thanks to Nick and Chris Fabiano and Bill Ganasso and Nick Rystrom. Our Revere Conservation Commission was also at hand on this project, as well as former Ward Councilor Ricky Serino and now Councilor Janino, both in full support of the project, as well as other members of the City Council, the previous administration and our current Keefe administration as well. So I'm very grateful for all the support. It does take a village to bring things like this together. So very appreciative and thank you for being here. So without further ado, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for everyone that participated. If I missed anyone, it was not intentional. Um, thank you everyone that's participated and introducing Mayor Keefe. Thank you. Thank you. This is tremendous. This is a beautiful day uh, on, at 3 o'clock on a Monday afternoon to have this many people here to watch the, the grand opening of this park, but also to witness the unveiling of, of, of its new namesake uh, for the community of, of not just North Revere, but of the entire community, the entire city of Revere. Uh, I know the Jones family uh, very well, and I know that they represent our entire community. They're very well known, probably more well known than Mayor Keefe, but we'll get there someday, right? Um, so welcome uh, today. I want to also thank and congratulate our planning and development team. L puts in a lot of work and time to make sure these park builds go right. It's not easy. It, does, it doesn't just happen Monday through Friday. Uh, and her team, led by Tom Skorofsky and his entire team, fantastic job. Thank you to our planning and development community. Um, so we're here today not only to celebrate the opening of a new recreational space in the city of Riviera, 
but also to acknowledge the lifelong legacy of Lieutenant John Jones, one of the earliest settlers, the Jones family, one of the earliest settlers of North Rivera. Many folks here today and many folks who know the neighborhood know Lieutenant Jones and his, his family. He and they were and are North Rivera. Thanks to our park revitalization products, uh, projects and the City Council, we're finally able to honor Lieutenant Jones and, the, and his family in this park as it rests across the street from the house he built and raised his family in. Lieutenant Jones, on his own, was an incredible human being. He was one of the first black officers in the city of Somerville and rose to the rank of lieutenant, and he also served our country as an Air Force veteran. Beyond, be, beyond his professional recognition, Lieutenant Jones was known for his investment and involvement in the community of Revere. He was an active parent and community member, helping coach youth sports and taking care of the neighborhood kids as they were his own. His family carries on this legacy of community service and, his invol and involvement. His son, JJ, is a representation of that, of that family and this neighborhood, and is also a Cambridge police officer who also serves a lot, a lot of different model in youth sports. So thank you, JJ, for your continued service to the community. It's a natural, fitting, and obvious choice to de dedicate this park uh, in honor of Lieutenant Jones. Uh, it was a unanimous decision by the City Council, and it was one of the quickest motions I was able to sign without, with zero hesitation. The park, which is designated for folks of all ages and abilities in mind, is an incredible addition to the Ward 6 uh, neighborhood and, of course, the, the, the North Revere neighborhood. Between AD accessibility, sensory accessibility, and a brand new pickleball court, it's a great community space dedicated to the man who put community at the forefront of his life. We're very proud of this park and we're so excited, excited and honored to be able to represent the entire city of Rivera and name it in, in, the, in, in the name of Lieutenant John uh, J, uh, J. J. Jones. Uh, at this point, yeah. I would like to invite up his family and of course uh, JJ to have a few words to say about the park. Thank you, sir. Uh, did Chris want to come? Yeah. Chris will come next. All right, cool. A little emotional. This is pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the city council, friends and, uh, and family, thank you guys very much for coming. This feels like a, uh, a pretty special day. My name is J.J. Jones, and uh, I'd quickly like to make some introductions to the immediate family of Lieutenant John Jones. Uh, I'll start with, first, the, uh, the woman behind the man, Miss Patty Jones, uh, our mother. My brother Jason and Sahara, uh, my sister Joy, Paul, and Paisley. Uh, my wife, Michelle. And our kids, uh, JJ, Miles, Marcus, Christiana, and Jaden. Hi, Jaden. And uh, also here, Aunt Virginia, um, my, dad's, my dad's aunt, his siblings, Aunt Betty, Uncle Joey, Uncle Russell, Uncle Jimmy. Thank you all for being here. Um, and congratulations to, to the family as well. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of United States Air Force Lieutenant Colonel James Townsend. Uh, he's the Deputy Division Chief of the Force of Protection Branch based out of Hanscom Air Force Base. Uh, he's over here in the back. Sir, you honor us. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to start by expressing my deep gratitude to the Revere City Council and everyone involved in the redesign and creation of this beautiful park. Uh, it's not lost on me that what would have been a grand opening ceremony project for many here that have spent years developing this project has quickly become a naming ceremony with tons of pomp and circumstance. So, L. Baker, I thank you very much uh, and the team of the North Revere Neighbors for allowing us to share in this moment. Your graciousness is truly appreciated. Uh, thank you so much. All right, city council members, Mr. Mayor, your unanimous decision to name the park after my father, Lieutenant John Jones, is an honor that truly touches the, the deepest parts of our heart. 
uh, with your leadership and the hard work of the design and construction team, this space has been transformed into a place where we can gather, play, relax, celebrate, and make new memories. But this park is not just a place. It's a cornerstone of our family's history. Long before all this construction and the developments, my grandparents, uh, Laura Jones and John B. Jones, set roots in this neighborhood and raised their eight children here. Ethel, Betty, Mary, John, Russell, Tommy, Joey, and Jimmy. Over the past century, more than 100 members of the Jones family have called this neighborhood home at one point or another. And remarkably, the foundation of that first home still stands in the woods behind us, about a quarter mile in that direction. Having eight kids, as you can imagine, it didn't take long for them to outgrow that house. So uh, the house you see right down here at the end of the block is the house my grandfather built for his growing family. And that's where he uh, raised his children. It now stands as a testament to the legacy of our family in this community. Growing up, this park was the center of our family's activities. It was where we played, where we laughed, competed, and created countless memories. It was, whether it was catching tadpoles in the little pond that used to be back here, or racing uh, the homemade go-karts down the hill over here, or having our uncles line us up in the street behind you to see which of the young cousins was the fastest. This park was the center of it all. And for the record, I was pretty fast, but my cousin Clocky beat me running backwards one time. We don't have to <laughs> My father, let's get into dad. Lieutenant John Jones, AKA Mr. Jones, AKA dad, was an Air Force veteran who served in Vietnam and was an airman second class assigned to the 499th Air Refueling Wing. During his time in the service, he received a commendation medal for assisting in the establishment of a record 41 scheduled flown missions encompassing 195 hours in a 35 day period. This was accomplished while the basis of operations was changed five times covering service in four different countries. During this time, he also participated in nine flights in direct support of the Far East operations. He later went on to become one of the first police officers in the city of Somerville, where he saved and touched countless lives. He also drafted and implemented the first mutual aid police paid detail agreement. This document made it possible for officers from other cities and towns to enter into different cities and towns to, to do paid details. It made a lot of cops a lot of money. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty big for the uh, police officers here in the state of Massachusetts. Physically, he was, for any of you guys that know him, he was a mountain of a man, but he was a gentle giant whose smile and energy made everyone feel seen and feel special. He was a fixture in the city as a parent, a uh, coach, and a friend to all that were fortunate enough to, to meet him and spend any time with him. He was a father to three, but he was a father figure to many, many more than that. He taught us the value of integrity and compassion and kindness. He was easily my hero and everything I aspired to be. My brother Jason, my sister Joy and I were blessed to have him as a father. So in closing, as we stand in Lieutenant John Jones, Memorial Park. I truly hope you feel the presence of my father and the lasting impact he had on this community. His was a life well lived. And through this park, we'll continue to honor, honor the legacy of Lieutenant John Jones and the entire Jones family for generations to come. Thank you all so very much for taking the time to be here with us today. Truly appreciate you. So I wanted to invite up Councillor of Ward 6, maker of the motion, uh, a, a name that everyone knows is synonymous with the city of Revere, uh, so former sergeant of the Revere Police Department and current Ward 6 Councillor, Chris Giannino. First of all, I want to start off by saying, look around. Is this on? Can you hear me? First of all, I stop by saying, look around. 
If this doesn't speak for itself, nothing does. John Jones, to me, was Lieutenant Jones. I grew up back in a day where he was a mentor. I was a police officer for 30 years, got to work with John. He was over in Somerville, I was in Revere. There's a personal connection we have. None of this would be possible without the support of his family. His wife, Patricia. If she didn't support him over the years, nobody did. By his side, thick and thin. His kids, Jason, JJ, Joy, doing what they're supposed to be doing, making a dad be a dad. Unfortunately, he was taken too soon, and we lost a great friend and a neighborhood mentor. What, what's more fitting than naming a pack after a man who gave so much to a community and the people in the community? He grew up a quarter mile that way, lived 100 yards that way, would walk by here how many times a day? Played here, watched the park be built the first time around. Now we're here almost 20 years after his passing to a full house. Everyone's here for the same reason, support and love that this man once showed all of you. You looked up to him. We all looked up to him. And again, he says, his wife Patricia by his side the whole time, encouraging him. And if it wasn't for her, JJ, Jason, and Joy, requesting the name be dedicated to Dad, going through L, the mayor's office, the DPW, Parks and Rec, and count to other people, and then come up for the council. This was the first motion that Councilor Kelly put forward, and within minutes, Everyone in that council jumped on this motion in support of it. Every councilor in the city within minutes. And unfortunately, you can't have 15 names on a motion. So we said, in the best interest of all of us, we're all in agreement on this here, we put everyone's name in that motion. Everyone stood together on it, and it was all positive. That alone, speaks for itself. Because being a new counselor, you watch these meetings over the years, getting along doesn't always happen. And here's an issue where everyone got along and everyone talked about it. And as we have here, we have Councilor Wasowski sitting here, Councilor Garino Sawyer, Councilor Kelly, Rep Janino, Councilor Hass, the mayor, myself, Mike Kinnahos from Parks and Rec, DPW, we got here, there's, there's so many people here in support of this here. It's only natural. And it says, I wish this park, park many years of success, kids to enjoy it, and look at the sign and remember who Lieutenant Jones was. To them, it might be John Jones, Uncle John, Mr. Jones, or whoever. But again, to me, it's Lieutenant Jones. And that's, that's all I really have to say about this here. And, and it's all good. It's all good. And thank you all for being here and for being involved with this here. The dedication of the park to Lieutenant John Jones. In three, two, one. And the new sign has been unveiled. <laughs>